And we're joined on the phone by Henry Paul, singer, guitarist for the band The Outlaws, also uh, the band Blackhawk. But uh, today we're talking about a new album from The Outlaws, Dixie Highway. Henry, how you doing today? I'm doing pretty good, man. How about you? I am uh, good as well. It's great to be speaking with you. Thanks for joining me. Oh, it's my pleasure indeed. I've got a, a day off and I'm sitting in my favorite chair in the living room just taking it easy. Well, I won't uh, keep you too long then. I'll let you get back to the chair here. Just a couple questions for you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, first, uh, can you tell us a bit about the new album uh, from the Outlaws, uh, Dixie Highway? What are the fans in for with this new one? Well, we, uh, you know, between our tour schedule, invested quite a bit of time and effort into writing and recording the record. Uh, I felt like, you know, the song, when we finally finished it, were you know, very cohesive, and the message was very consistent. I felt like it was relative to the band's position today and where it came from to begin with. I feel like uh, the musical character of the record is very true to the Outlaws' original musical personality that I was there and helped create it. And I also think that uh, when you release a record, it's 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 a musical endeavor and it's a visual endeavor. I think that the photographs and the artwork and the concept of the record, the title of the album, I think everything is a hundred percent in sync with the outlaws musical personality and our fans. Definitely. And I know it's, it's been a while since uh, we've had a new album from uh, the outlaws. Uh, what made you decide that it was time to, to get back into the studio? Well, I wrote and recorded a, a studio album in 2012. It was it came out, and then we released a double live album in 2017. And while we continued to run around like chickens without a head doing our tour, <laughs> we also wrote and eventually recorded this new record. Uh, we're not on the clock. We are lucky to have a great label like SPV, but. We're also not under a good deal of pressure to release a record every 18 months. So the quality level of the songs and the production value of the album are all controlled by us. And, and we uh, and we satisfy our own artistic agenda. And that gives us a great deal of, uh, you know, that's a, a significant reward. Sure. Well, I know you have uh, Dale Oliver in the band with you now. I, I knew him from uh, all the songs he, he wrote for uh, pro wrestling themes back in the day. Well, Dale and I go way back. We go back to the early 90s. He helped create the Blackhawk musical personality in the studio. Uh, we always had a good time performing on the road together in the band that backed up Blackhawk. And after he left that group to go on and do different things, he and I, worked together as production partners on a lot of different outside artists. We wrote together, we made records together, we stayed in, we stayed in uh, contact together, and uh, when it was time to make a change in the band, which I want to go on record and say that I absolutely didn't want to do, but had to, Dale was pretty much the only guy that I wanted to do that with. Well, and the Outlaws, uh, they still got the three guitar attack. You know, you guys have been known for that. That's great that you, you kept that intact over the years. Well, we wouldn't make a record and try and, you know, what's the word, uh, take the Outlaws fans and their expectations of a new record and, and, uh, and ruin it by trying to create a new sound for the band. We... My goal, listen, when I helped create the Outlaws sound in the early 70s, that was the, that was the, the die was cast for the musical personality of that group, and I was not about to abandon that. I was, my goal was to remain very true to that. And that's all, that's our thing. That's our thing. We, we sing like the Eagles, we play like the Allman Brothers. Uh, the band has a good deal of aggression and energy as performers, and we have a, I think, as lyricists and musical personalities, we have a, 
a very significant ability to write and record new music and push the Outlaws brand into the future. Definitely. And again, uh, the new album from the Outlaws, Dixie Highway, is out. Uh, the first single, Southern Rock, Will Never Die. Can you talk a bit about that song? It seems like a lot of the guys you know, on the scene when you first started uh, no longer here with us. Exactly. And so, you know, the, uh, the, I guess to speak in terms of all those that had passed, and to make the commitment to continuing on into the future was a little bit of a, a dichotomy just in concept. But what I thought was that the outlaws are playing at a high level, we're writing songs at a high level and making records at a high level, and we're having a good time and there is no end in sight. And so as long as a band is out there performing at a high level and having a good time and people are excited about coming to see the group, then the genre has a chance to, to, to persevere and to exist. And so it's kind of like a promise uh, from a band that I think can keep it, you know, that this genre is alive and it's going to be alive as long as we're here. Yeah, in a way... Um you guys are kind of, uh, you know, like one of the last bands standing, you know, from those uh, early years. But uh, are there any new bands around, I guess, now that you think maybe are, are going to pick up that flag and, you know, keep that genre going? Mm-hmm. Well, Blackberry Smoke is enjoying a great deal of success right now. And uh, and that's exciting to see. Uh, Dickie Betts' son and Dwayne Allman's son have a band that's out there creating some, uh, you know, some excitement for the fans. Um, Charlie Daniels at the age of 84 or 83 is still turning in a world-class performance every night. And so there, you know, Leonard Skinner is still a very, a very formidable band live. I mean, they have exceptional talent in the group and they put on a very, I think, uh, the first rate, impression of that band's music when they go out to play it's changed a little from the original group but you know nothing remains the same and so i i, I give my i it's it's a tip of the hat to skinner to be out there and, and be playing at a high level whether this is their final tour or however long they have to go I, I don't know the answer to that but for the moment you know they seem to be doing a great job of you know, representing their band out there on the stage and on the road in a respectable form and fashion. So the Outlaws, to me, not just because I'm in the group, but I mean the Outlaws are one of the, they may not be the most recognizable name in the genre, but we're one of the better bands from that time period and that, that peer group of colleagues that, you know, help create and, 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 and invent that musical genre. Well, and I know you guys are on the road now, and it uh, looks like uh, you'll be on tour here through uh, at least early summer, I think. We are out there four months a year. It's how we make a living. It's, how, it's what keeps the bus wheels turning and the people that work with me employed. And uh, we probably do 50 or 60 Outlaw shows a year. We do 50 or 60 Blackhawk shows a year. And between both those brands that I control, you know, we go out and we have a really very respectable, you know, job from the standpoint of economic return. And it's it's hard to be, you know, to make a living as a musician. And we have the advantage of both those brands, but we also have a group of people that are very talented and they cover a lot of ground musically and we get a, we get a lot of a satisfaction knowing that we're doing a good job for both groups. Well, and of course, so, you know, you've been on the road, uh, not with just the outlaws, but, uh, you know, a lot of other stuff uh, for a long time and, uh, you know, still touring, uh, after all these years, you mentioned, uh, that's kind of how you, you do it now. It seems like it's, you know, it used to be the albums and then you tour and now it's, uh, mostly the tours and, you know, maybe an album here and there. Exactly. I mean, you know, the Eagles are a good example. They haven't had new, new music in some time, but, People still want to see them. Glenn Fry passed away. Or they brought his son into the band. I know they 
brought uh, Ned Skill into the group, you know. I mean, those guys are smart. I mean, and they know what great music is, and people like Ben Skill has no uh, motivation to be in a band unless he respects the musical personality it represents and to be invited to come out and play and sing with the Eagles for him, I'm sure was a very exciting offer and one that he simply would not say no to. Well, and Henry, you mentioned uh, Blackhawk is still, uh, still in the works as well. Uh, how does that work? Are you kind of doing, uh, you know, Blackhawk stuff when the outlaws aren't on the road and just kind of switching it up or? No, I have a band that plays the Blackhawk show spot on and the Outlaws show spot on. I mean, all six people in this band know both musical personalities. I can do a Blackhawk show on a Friday night and a Saturday night I can do an Outlaws show. Uh, the, the, the people in the band are exceptional. They're exceptional. The band was put together in Nashville. The musical pool of talent there is very deep. The people that I'm playing with, I've known for no less than 20 years. and Everybody's been playing together for decades. We know one another's abilities. We know one another's, you know, families and personal lives. And we, uh, we go up and down the road as a, as a family. I mean, really, our kids work with us. And it's just, it's just a really nice way to go out. And, and do what it is we do, you know, because being away from home is still not fun. But if you're going to be out there, be out there with your kids, be out there with your friends, and, uh, you know, play the show, get the check, and head to the house. <laughs> awesome. Well, again, I know the uh, the new album here, Dixie Highway, just out. Uh, is there something else maybe we should be watching out for, or maybe another project uh, coming up down the road for you? Yeah, I think this June I'm turning in a new double live acoustic Blackhawk record we cut in the Atlanta area a year and a half or so ago that we're finishing up. We're just kind of putting the finishing touches on that, and that's going to be out this summer. And then we're going in the studio in the fall, and we're going to record a new Blackhawk studio album. We have some great songs and some great ideas, and we have quite a an exciting uh, musical proposition to uh, to involve ourselves in. And so I would look for that either way late this year or first of next. Awesome. Again, uh, Henry, uh, the new album, uh, Dixie Highway, sounds great. And uh, you got a lot of stuff coming up, so I appreciate you taking some time out with me today. All right, Cat Daddy, you go have a good day. <laughs> Are you too. Thanks, man. See you, man. And again, that was Henry Paul from the Outlaws and Blackhawk. And again, that uh, new Outlaws album, Dixie Highway, is available now.